All right, welcome to Araton Empire Studio G Tamboy Prince P. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and depending on where you're watching me from. And this is another episode of the Hajis. No time for too much intro because today, gist, we have so many matas for Matthias. We'll be talking about Justin Bieber and also David Oyele Duchie. BBC has acknowledged Macy. I'll be giving you all the intels and all the includums. Porter Bodom bust out again and waiting to talk, eh? Internet has been oozing, oozing, boozing for Portable. Portable knows how to trend. That guy is too controversial. Just stay tuned, stay glued because we have a lot to talk about in this episode. But please, before we dodge in, subscribe. Subscribe, click the notification button, and don't forget, like, comment, share with your friends so that you can stay updated anytime, any day I upload. Let's dive into matters arising in the day. Now, no time for too much controversies or anything because today gist is full of shenanigans, penanigans, and renanigans. So there has been so many buzzbars on social media which I'll be bringing to you one after the other. Firstly, let's talk about matters arising in the camp of Yele Duchi. Yele Duchi has finally come out on social media to publicly apologize to his first wife. Yele Doche, after all said and done, after all the incudence and imbrudence, after the whole social media talk of war, after people criticisms and renisms, renal mockery, just say renal mockery, yes, just say renal mockery. You think, look, ah, my village people are dead. Yele Doche has finally come out on social media and publicly apologized to Mel Edoche. May no bless just the candidate talk. Let me read the apology for you. And after that, we'll dissect. To my dear wife, I acknowledge that I hurt you deeply. I didn't do it to disrespect you. I didn't do it to replace you. I am sorry. I've always loved you and always will. <laughs> For those of you who know the tears, we are the go. Okay. To my dear wife, I acknowledge that I hurt you deeply. I didn't do it to replace you. I didn't do it to to disrespect you. I am sorry. I've always loved you and will always love you. Now, after he came out and publicly apologized to the wife. People started commenting, people started lambasting him, which I'm not going to read the comment because of time. We have so many issues to talk about, so I'm making it snappy. Now, quickly, let's let just go straight to the point. <clears throat> Firstly, it's good you have finally realized what you did, and it's good you have apologized. But wait, I want to ask something. How come it took you this long to apologize to your wife? I feel like you are late. I feel like now it's too late for you. Because now the whole shenanigans and penanigans has gone beyond metabolism. Because of your ibediberism and your moginism. You it's almost a year now. You effed up. And ever since then, you keep on claiming this I'm proud polygamist. You keep on quoting scriptures, verses, chapter, just to justify your moginism. You know, say you cheat. Upon say you cheat, you score go. Upon say you don't score go, you get mine, beat your chest, go do everything, make them authentic. Without your wife knowing, and you know very well that you have hurt her deeply, rather than you apologizing to her, you started claiming right, started claiming proud polygamist. You effed up for months, and you know, make amends. And I keep saying it, get sense. Get sense. Make sure that you amend your home. Make sure that you make your first wife realize that you have effed up. 
to her is human, but to forgive is divine. Make your wife understand that you don't air for. No one is perfect. Let her forgive you. Rather, you they come out online, they attack people. You know, go even wait. If somebody don't don't mistakenly cough, and the cough touch you, mm, you strike like thunder. And now you don't finally that thing we have been saying. You don't finally come out on social media to do it. Why are you coming now to apologize? Why? Because I feel like it's too late. Now as I'm speaking to you right now, now let me bust your pimples. Your wife is out there now chilling with the big boys because of your baby babies. You disrespected her. Let's be serious. You disrespected her because you did it and you justified what you did. And you refused to apologize. Making yourself proud polygamist. Self-acclaimed proud polygamist. And now it's too late. Because your wife is out there chilling with the big boys. When your wife they close to you, we suppose apologize to her and make her understand that you effed up. You didn't. You are busy claiming the unknown of 21st century. Now you have seen it. Well, I just hope that you, you repair what you have damaged. Now quickly, let's talk about Davido and Gioma. Davido, after his performance during the Qatar Final World Cup, you know, which all of us were happy that Davido has finally come out to show himself again. Davido has finally come out to pick up from where he stopped. Now, you know, say, social media, eh? if you think that you have seen it all, the one way you go see the next day, eh? oh my goodness. <laughs> Could they post your mind? <laughs> now, this socialite decided to come out and comment about David Doe's son. And what's in it talk, eh? Oh, my goodness. Make I read them. <laughs> okay, this is what this lady posted. I feel like David Doe and Choma should have issued an official statement about their son's death instead of carrying on with their lives like nothing happened. Hey, <laughs> God of mercy. <laughs> official statement about their son's death. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm still reading. There has been a lot of whispers and conspiracy theories surrounding Leto Efani's death. And I feel like making an official statement or something will help ease the whole conspiracy. Oh my goodness. You know, say, eh? It's so. <laughs> I don't even know how to coerciate this impassion. Yo, bro, Davido and Joma should come out and make an official statement about their son's death. About what? No, okay. Wait. Oh. When this lady made this comment, it bore me because it's so annoying that some people can be so go level. I don't know who they give them phone to even the type. I don't know. Some people don't deserve to be on social media because what they talk, eh? It go bust your mind. When she made these comments, people started attacking her. People started dragging her on social media. They roasted this lady on social media. So I'm speaking to you now. She said she smell barbecue, barbecue. See that her Brazilian fake hair. It is smell barbecue, barbecue. People have roasted her online for coming out to say this. What? What conspiracy? What? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. What do you want the video and trauma to come and do? Oh, they should call CNN, BBC, Chinese Television, TV3, and then arrange a press conference. Oh, they want to make a special official statement about Ifani's death. And then they will start telling you, oh, Ifani, they sleep. Ifani is sleeping in the hands of God's bosom. Ifani, Timmy! 
Some people, I don't know why some people not get this the way they call common sense. People that are mourning, do you know how hard it is to lose a son? And you want them to come out public to start explaining what really happened. If he really drowned or he didn't drown, or maybe it never happened or it happened. He could, he didn't, he never. That is what you want them to come and explain to you. Ye teen. Honestly speaking, when I saw it, I was so angry. Because you don't know how, like, if you are in their shoes, you know how they are feeling. You will know how painful it is to lose a child. You will know how painful it is. And now, let, let's be happy that they are finally moving on. They are, they are finally moving on. They are coming out to tell them to go back and start giving you details of what transpired. How? Go and ask them. Okay, now, so quickly, still on matters arising. Now, let's talk about BBC and Messi. Maybe I say Messi is not done yet. Because Messi keeps on bargaining recognitions, award, cups. <clears throat> See, eh? after the World Cup, I just Messi should go and rest. Make it go rest. Because honestly speaking, it's clear that this guy don't carry almost all the whole career ball on football. When it comes to football, he don't carry everything. Even the one where they no one make it carry, he don't carry. He don't even carry the name football. After Argentina won the World Cup, Qatar World Cup. So BBC also came out and they named Messi the best sports star of the year. The best sports star of the year. They gave him that award. And it's clear that Messi is not done yet. That guy is still the carry awards. He, I'm sure that if you go to his house now, everywhere he is smear awards, awards, awards. Because he's not done yet. People, <laughs> you see the bag award. The award now, why? Is... <laughs> oh my goodness. Messi, eh? sometimes people now they use Messi as their prayer point. Heavenly Father, make me to be the Messi of my family. Because Messi is literally. <clears throat> I don't even know how to coerciate that guy. The award way they bag it, it be mind busting. The only award why I know say Messi never carry now. The only cap why I know say Messi never carry now African cap. And make Ikukuma come play for Africa and also carry the cap. Now make we know say he don't overdo. But kudos to him. Kudos to him. It's a huge recognition and also huge achievement to him. So now quickly, let's talk about matters arising in the camp of Regina Dane and Nedumoko. Nedumoko celebrated his 20... Is it? Even that man said, eh, he keeps on reducing his age. So I'm not even wrong to say he celebrated his 22nd birthday. <laughs> okay, so Nedumoko celebrated his 62 birthday. And... Regina Dane decided to come out and write something sweet delicious for him, which I'm not going to read all. Happy birthday, dear mama. As I finally call you, it's been four years of beautiful memories, and I'm happy I get to see every side of you. You are a huge inspiration to my dating from your academic qualification, your philanthropist life, your achievement goals, reasoning and perceptions of life is what emulating, you know, he's, she's still a typo. You know, I don't want to, that's not where I'm going. Where are they go? It be Ned Wonko now. Ned Wonko keeps on celebrating 62. Last three years, he came out and he celebrated 62. Last two years, 62. Last year, 62. This year again, 62. I beg, wait to. Nedumoko, are you going backwards or what? You know what? <laughs> this man no one old again. What's happened? 
every year you keep on celebrating the same 62. You know the old again. Okay? Now only ah, now only Nigeria. Now you go see say eh, these our old men. They don't want to die. They don't want to agree that they are old. I don't understand. Please come and explain to us. If you don't post your age, because it will I say your age now they on post. Every year you keep on celebrating 62, 62. When you go enter 63, or when you go actually tell us say you don't pass. Ah, well, it is what it is. When you have money, you can you can post your age. <laughs> hustle, hustle. <laughs> okay, so now quickly, still on matters arising. Let's talk about Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber set to sell music rights for 200 million. Justin Bieber wants selling music rights for 200 million. You know, we say all, oh, some, mostly those popular ones, those trending ones, the hit jams. He wants to sell the rights for 200 million. Well, it's, it's good for him because at the end, more cash out for him. More cash out for him. Now, quickly, let's finally talk about portable. Portable de Zazu. Portable what they feel like they are no of Nigerian music. Portable, I keep on saying it. That ever since Portable mistakenly came out, that guy keeps on giving us back-to-back -back controversies. That guy keeps on setting the internet on fire. Ever since, the internet has been oozing, boozing, oozing for Portable. Portable never allowed Nigerians to suck with the bottle and keep in peace. Portable don't finally come out again to deny everyone. Portable, eh? <laughs> if, you, if you see the way he denied Pokoli, deny Olami, they deny everyone that helped him in this life. He has denied everyone. He said that he didn't, no one helped him. He be grace, so he be in grace where he carry away help him. If I talk now, they figure, see, I just they carry the talk. Oh, yeah. I get grace. I go, uh, my, all my fans, they okay, bless me. But the story where they now say, um, somebody link you, Pokoli link you, Olamide. Nobody link me. Nobody link me. So what's the real story? Everybody DM me. What will be the real time story? Time will go, I'm going to, if your time reach, everybody will DM me. I don't blow, nobody blow me. Me, I say, I'm going to get a record with that. Nobody blow me. Sasu blow for me. Even me, my man, bitch, that's the blow up. Oh, Chad, you need Sasu. Or all alone. Yeah, my way. So nobody blew me. Moti trend, my man, my trend. My man, Sagat. But you can't trend, yeah. I don't blow now. You don't think now, but my man, I blow. They can't tell me, say, but I don't blow. I can't tell you, say, I blow. I don't get much. I blow. I never travel now. I'm a one. But now, I feel like I blow because I don't travel up and down. The only one, as I travel up and down, I don't get food. I am the American. Yes, sir. Uma can destroy you. Then go in the bed. Abib. Uma can destroy you. Uma can destroy you. Yes, I will go in the mind. 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 Go in the I was yes. manager me, I think you know, being a shake you want get from me, you want to You don't have a party, but like, no, this money manager me. I don't want to waste all that. No, money to me. I know. Money, okay, now, get from me, go away. You don't manage it. You don't have to pay money, baby love. So, wait first. Stay. Is that, will be your manager now, your girlfriend? Yes, sir. Like your friend. Hey, but you don't pay my friend. Yes, 
Hope you're the people that go to client's house. Yes, now. Nobody will have me go with why I know they spend my own money. They spend my own money, you know. Hope you will tell me, say, this thing. I broke my smile out of my head. Portable is a comedian. When you think you have seen it all, when it comes to portable, nah, portable go wow you. Portable go let you know, say, yo, bro, <laughs> I be full package. Firstly, I beg, people wait there around portable, why not they advise portable? Why on a let portable come out with this life jacket? On a for advice and say this thing not be fashion. How you go wear life jackets come interview? If they go swim. Portable. Wow. Oh my goodness. I don't tire for portable. Oh. Never a day. But let's be serious about this issue. Portable, when he came out and he made these comments, people started bla blasting him on social media. Nigerians started roasting him on social media because it didn't make us feel like say we're not getting retentive memory again. Like we know they see. When Portable came out, it be Pokoli. They carry him go everywhere. It be Pokoli willing to come up with Olamide. People will, literally, people helped him. No, tell me, this is your grace way they talk about. Without people, this is your grace go manifest. It be people will help this your grace. It be people. God use people to help you. You blew because of people link you up. What it be? It be your grace. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> is it portable? At this point, I don't know what I will talk about portable again. Ladies and gentlemen, may we? All right, so that will be all in today's episode. And you know how we do right here. Just stay tuned, stay glued, stay connected because I'm still coming back with another interesting, innovating, captivating gist. But please, 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 we're going to try to subscribe. Subscribe, click the notification button, and don't forget to like, comment, share with your friends. If you like Eraton Empire, if you like good content, quality content, juicy content, subscribe to Eraton Empire. You can stay updated anytime, any day I upload so that you will be the first person to get the notification. Thanks for watching. God bless. Kind of stuff.